tomorrow we're going to be smoking some wings on the gas grill. And all we got to do is we got to prep these and put them in the fridge, let them sit overnight, and they'll be ready to go. So let's get started. Okay, first thing is we're going to wash these thoroughly. These, uh, these wings have been in that package and you never know, could be some bacteria or something in there, but always wash your wings, at least I do. Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to thoroughly dry these. We're going to dry these as much as we can. And we're going to place them on this uh, little baking sheet with a, with a rack. So I'll go ahead and finish these up and uh, so you don't have to sit here and watch this. That's gonna do it. Remember, we're not gonna put any seasoning on these till tomorrow until they're ready to go on the grill. For now, we're just gonna set them in here and leave them overnight. So they'll dry out, and that's gonna help get us a crispy skin. See you in the morning. our wings and they have been sitting in the fridge for about 14 hours so that looked pretty good a little bit of stickiness but you can tell that they have definitely lost a little weight dehydrated a little bit so uh, there's definitely some moisture that fell down on the pan so these are uh, uh, they're, they're almost ready we're gonna leave these sitting out to get room temperature for uh, a couple hours in the meantime, we're going to go out and prep the grill. Hey, this is the grill setup. This is my char griller duo. This is the gas side. This is the charcoal side. We're going to be using the gas side only. And uh, you'll notice that I've... You'll notice that I've taken out the covers on these two burners over here. I'm taking these out. And I put some uh, aluminum foil down here just to catch any grease and this will just help to keep your grill a little bit cleaner. And then right here we have uh, just some applewood chips, a few chunks, and uh, this is just an aluminum uh, tray boat you can make. And you can see I poked some holes on the bottom. And uh, we're going to be using this side only just this burner and we'll leave these two off put the wings over here and smoke them indirectly and of course I've got a little aluminum tray some tongs and some little cooking gloves so I think the wings are about ready so let's go uh, season them up all right let's season these wings up Let me take, uh, Just, uh, this is just plain seasoning salt, Lowry's seasoning salt, you see it there. You can always do salt and pepper and garlic powder and onion powder or whatever you want, but this seems to, to work just fine. Because actually we're going we're gonna to complement these wings with some ranch dressing when they're finally ready. Take a little pinch, and uh, we're just going to lightly season these. We don't want to put too much. The smoke is going to add a lot of flavor, so we just want a little bit of a salt, salty flavor. No pepper. Just a little bit of red pepper in the seasoning. I believe. Just lightly season it. Like 
okay. I'll go ahead and lemon pepper is actually really good with these when you smoke them this way. Probably just about anything. Okay, and that's it. These are going to be sitting here for a minute or two, and we're going to we're going to go outside and get the the smoke going on the grill, and then we're, we're going to put these on there. Okay. Here's our wings. We're going to have to close this because the flies are going to go nuts. Now we're going to come over here and start. Our grill. There it goes. Okay. You can see the flames down there. All right. So let's. Uh, we're going to close the lid. And as soon as we start to see a little bit of smoke, we're going to put our wings over here. Looks like we're about uh, about 3:25, so we getting closer. It'll start smoking here shortly. That's my cat. Hey, you want some chicken wings? Okay, I'll be here shortly. Okay. Approaching 375. Let's see if there's smoke coming out here. Oh yeah. Definitely got some smoke coming out. So uh let's get them on there. So that's it. We're gonna let these go for uh, at least 45 minutes. Okay, we're about uh, 15 to 20 minutes in. We're up to almost 450. These are smoking hot. Let's take a quick peek. Oh yeah, this is gonna be really good. Everything's looking good, so let's let it keep on rolling. Okay, we're about 30 minutes in. Looks like we're about 4.40, 4.45. Now that's the one thing about letting your chicken dry out before you smoke it. You have a better chance of having a, a better texture on the skin. Leaning towards the crispy side. Because I know a lot of you have uh, smoked chicken before and the the chicken skin becomes rubbery if you cook it at a really low temperature like 225 230 and all that You still get lots of flavor, but If you dry them out dry your chicken out and put it on the grill use a gas grill and use high heat then uh, The texture is a whole lot better Another thing you'll notice is up here on these vents I've actually covered these little exhaust ports and I keep them covered to hold the heat in there to make it hotter.
Okay, we're about 40 minutes in. Let's take a quick peek here. This is pretty good. You can tell the skins are crisped up a little bit. See some of the juices are bubbling out. So they're almost ready. Okay, these are ready in about 45 minutes. Well, perfect. That one actually popped. There's the wings. We are going to take them inside and try them out. All right, let's plate these up. Basket here. We'll put a little ranch dressing right here. Put some wings on there. It's still hot. I'm gonna uh, put a little parsley here for some color. Then uh, put a few celery sticks. Like this. And then a touch of paprika. And there you go. I guess all we need to do now is taste these wings. Wow, came out really, really good. Mm. These were perfect. Well, they came out fantastic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.